Welcome to our quiz on Islamic contributions to science. Today, we'll explore fascinating facts about the remarkable achievements of Muslim scholars throughout history. Get ready to test your knowledge and learn something new. Let's dive in. Question 1. Who is known as the father of algebra? A. Al-Khwarizmi B. Ibn Sina C. Al-Farabi D. Al-Razi The correct answer is A. Al-Khwarizmi Al-Khwarizmi was a Persian mathematician whose works introduced the concepts of algebra and algorithms. His book, Al-Kitab Al-Mukhtasar Fi Hisab Al-Jabr wal muqabala laid the foundation for modern algebra. Question 2. Which Islamic scholar made significant advancements in optics? A. Ibn al-Haytham B. al-Biruni C. Ibn Rushd D. al-Ghazali The correct answer is A. Ibn al-Haytham. Ibn al-Haytham, also known as al-Hazan, is often referred to as the father of optics. His experiments laid the groundwork for the scientific method and contributed to our understanding of light and vision. Question 3. Which scholar is famous for his work in medicine and wrote The Canon of Medicine? A. Ar-Razi B. Ibn Sina C. Al-Zahrawi D. Al-Farabi The correct answer is B. Ibn Sina. Ibn Sina, or Avicenna, was a Persian polymath whose canon of medicine became a central medical text in both the Islamic world and Europe for centuries. Question 4. What did al-Biruni contribute to the field of geography? A. The invention of the astrolabe. B. Accurate measurements of the Earth's circumference. C. The first map of the world. D. The concept of latitude and longitude. The correct answer is B. Accurate measurements of the Earth's circumference. Al Biruni was an exceptional scholar who calculated the Earth's radius with remarkable precision, contributing significantly to geography and astronomy. Question 5. Which invention is attributed to Muslim scholars during the Golden Age of Islam? A. The printing press. B. The compass. C. The astrolabe. D. The telescope. The correct answer is C. The astrolabe. The astrolabe was a vital instrument for navigation and astronomy allowing scholars to determine their location based on celestial bodies. Question 6. Who is known for his contributions to chemistry and is often referred to as the father of chemistry? A. Jabir ibn Hayyan B. Ar-Razi C. Ibn al-Haytham D. Al-Khwarizmi The correct answer is A. Jabir ibn Hayyan. Jabir ibn Hayyan's experiments laid the foundation for modern chemistry. He introduced concepts such as distillation and crystallization. Question 7. What was one of al-Zarawi's notable contributions to medicine? A. Development of surgical instruments. B. Discovery of antibiotics. C. Creation of vaccines. D. Introduction of anesthesia. The correct answer is A. Development of surgical instruments. Al-Zarawi, also known as Abulkasis, is credited with inventing numerous surgical tools that are still used today in various forms. Question 8. 
Which Muslim scientist is known for his work in astronomy and created detailed star catalogs? A. Al-Farabi B. Al-Batani C. Ibn Rushd D. Nasir al-Din al-Tusi The correct answer is B. Al-Batani. Al-Batani made significant contributions to astronomy, including precise measurements of celestial bodies and refining earlier models. Question 9. What did Ibn Khaldun contribute to historiography? A. The concept of historical cycles. B. The first history book ever written. C. The idea of social cohesion in history. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. Ibn Khaldun is considered a pioneer in sociology and historiography. His work emphasized understanding historical events through social dynamics. Question 10. Which field did Al-Razi significantly advance through his writings? A. Mathematics B. Medicine C. Philosophy D. Astronomy The correct answer is B. Medicine. Al-Razi was a prominent physician who distinguished between smallpox and measles. His medical texts influenced both Islamic and European medicine. Question 11. Who wrote The Book of Healing, which covers philosophy and science? A. Ibn Rushd. B. Ibn Sina. C. Al-Ghazali. D. Al-Farabi. The correct answer is B. Ibn Sina. The Book of Healing by Ibn Sina discusses various scientific topics, including logic, natural sciences, mathematics, and metaphysics. Question 12. What did Muslim astronomers use to improve navigation at sea? A. Compass B. Astrolabe C. Sextant D. Chronometer The correct answer is B. Astrolabe. The astrolabe was crucial for sailors, allowing them to measure the altitude of stars above the horizon, aiding in navigation across vast oceans. Question 13. Which scholar is known for his work on optics and vision? A. Ibn al-Haytham B. Jabir ibn Hayyan C. al-Biruni D. al-Khwarizmi The correct answer is A. Ibn al-Haytham. Ibn al-Haytham's experiments on light refraction were groundbreaking and laid essential groundwork for future studies in optics. Question 14. What mathematical concept did al-Khwarizmi introduce that we still use today? A. Geometry B. Algebra C. Calculus D. Trigonometry The correct answer is B. Algebra. Algebra derives its name from Al-Jabr, one of the operations he described in his influential book on mathematics. Question 15. Which device did Muslim scholars develop that allowed them to measure time accurately? A. Water clock. B. Sundial. C. Mechanical clock. D. Hourglass. The correct answer is A. Water clock. Muslim inventors improved upon earlier designs to create sophisticated water clocks that were used for various purposes, including prayer times. Question 16. Who is credited with discovering that blood circulates through the body? A. Ibn al-Nafis B. Ar-Razi C. Avicenna D. Galen
The correct answer is A. Ibn al-Nafis. Ibn al-Nafis made significant contributions to anatomy by correctly describing pulmonary circulation long before it was recognized in Europe. Question 17. What did Muslim scholars contribute to mathematics during their era? A. Decimal system. B. Negative numbers. C. Trigonometric functions. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Muslim mathematicians advanced many concepts that are fundamental today, including our modern decimal system and trigonometric functions. Question 18. Which famous Muslim philosopher wrote extensively on logic and philosophy? A. Avicenna B. Averroes C. Al-Ghazali D. Al-Farabi The correct answer is B. Averroes. Averroes was instrumental in interpreting Aristotle's works, bridging Greek philosophy with Islamic thought during the Middle Ages. Question 19. Who developed early forms of scientific methodology? A. Jabir ibn Hayyan. B. Al Razi. C. Ibn al Haytham. D. S. Nasir al Din al Tusi. The correct answer is C. Ibn al-Haytham. Ibn al-Haytham's systematic approach to experimentation laid foundational principles for modern scientific methods. Question 20. Which ancient civilization's knowledge did Muslim scholars preserve and enhance? A. Roman. B. Greek. C. Egyptian. D. Indian. The correct answer is B, Greek. Muslim scholars translated Greek texts into Arabic, preserving knowledge that would later influence Renaissance thinkers. Question 21. What aspect of mathematics did Omar Khayyam contribute significantly? A, geometry. B, algebraic equations. C, probability theory. D, number theory. The correct answer is B. Algebraic Equations Omar Khayyam is renowned for his work on solving cubic equations through geometric methods. Question 22. Who pioneered techniques in surgery during medieval times? A. Avicenna B. Ensel Zahrawi C. An Ibn Rushd D. Ibn al-Nafis The correct answer is B. Al Zahrawi. Al Zahrawi's surgical techniques were groundbreaking. He documented over 200 surgical instruments. Question 23. What did Muslim astronomers use to predict eclipses? A. Star charts. B. Mathematical calculations. C. Observational tools. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. Muslim astronomers combined observational data with mathematical models to accurately predict celestial events. Question 24. Who wrote the Book of Optics? A. Jabir ibn Hayyan. B. Nasir al-Din al-Tusi. C. Ibn al-Haytham. D. Al-Batani. The correct answer is C. Ibn al-Haytham. In the Book of Optics, Ibn al-Haytham explored light's properties, influencing future optical studies. Final question. Which scholar contributed significantly to both mathematics and philosophy? A. Avicenna B. Averroes C. Al-Khwarizmi D. Allama Iqbal
The correct answer is D. Alama Iqbal. Alama Iqbal was not only a poet, but also contributed significantly to philosophical thought regarding mathematics. Thank you for participating in our quiz on Islamic contributions to science. We hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more interesting content. Share your score in the comments below. Until next time.